but this is one of my pet hates. Why can't people just clean up after themselves? There's bloody kids playing around here. Hi guys, so welcome back to Chase Dog Walks. Today we're going to be having a little walk around Heath Hayes Park. And this park is situated adjacent to a walk that I did the other day, if you remember. The Fair Lady Coppice Nature Reserve, which is directly behind the ATS here. So, we're situated on Five Ways Island in Heath Hayes. You've got the ATS there, you've got the Five Ways in. There's a carpet shop there. The, so let me just zoom in. We've got the Wimbleberry Road shooting off up in that direction. And this is the Heath Hayes Park. Lovely little display for Remembrance Day there. So this is only a small park as you can see, but we will have a little walk round the perimeter. And I'm sure these pair are gonna love it. So obviously I'm not gonna take the dogs on the actual play area. So we'll just make our way round the fence up here and we'll head round onto this path here and we'll go and have a little walk down there before heading back up here and then having a walk all the way around the perimeter and I'll take you up onto the area where the football pitches are as well. Just get these off. Come on, Ost. Off you go then. So yeah, for the park section, that's pretty much it. You come past that fence there where we walked on. And then if you join this path here and just follow it all the way down, it goes all the way down there where that fella is there walking his dogs and then back up here. And then what that does is it allows me to stay off the park where the council don't want you. I do see people on there with their dogs all the time, to be honest. Uh, I don't really see what the issue is. But you know, just to save hassle, stay off it. Um, and what we're gonna do now, so basically I've gone down, I've just done a loop of that. And then we're gonna go up here now, round the tennis courts and up and round up onto the main bit up there. And again, stick to the perimeter. And Teddy's found a tennis ball. Come on, off there. Good boys. That's it, stay around the outside. Now, don't get me wrong. 
this is not going to be a feature in my videos but this is one of my pet hates why can't people just clean up after themselves there's bloody kids playing around here and other people walking their dogs now i'm a responsible dog owner and i would urge everybody to just carry some of these with you it's not that hard and there's bins about there's a bin over there and there's a bin there and there's bins as we go around the other side now you'll see bins at the top entrance there it's really not hard it really boils my piss there's just no need for it so as you can see i have taught my dogs to stick to the perimeter because especially during the winter months and you know what even in the summer when we have um those torrential downpours this bit of the park here past where the actual park is and the tennis courts where it opens up here if you walk through the middle of that it is literally like a swamp it's a bog um, and my feet would be absolutely soaked now if i was walking through the middle of that so if you've not been here before and you plan on coming here just bear that in mind you really do want to be sticking to the perimeter as you come round here because if you ain't got your wellies on you're going to have wet tootsies that's for sure Get him here. i mean look that proves my point we've even got seagulls here look. seagulls they've come fishing look at all the standing water so as you come from the tennis courts all the way around there to the perimeter i've come down here and then as you follow it round here, we come into another big wide open space, which used to be a football pitch. This used to be a football pitch. This is boggy as hell here. Um, but now there's only the one football pitch, which is up here on the left. So when I do the drone footage, this is where I'll probably come. I'll come onto this field here. I'll take the drone up lovely day for it today if i can i'll probably get up here this afternoon i will take the drone up and show you an aerial view and do a 360 of the whole park and the whole area but yeah again it is a, it's a lovely walk this one again nice and short flat perfect place to come with your dogs where's that little get ted Come on, stop dawdling. And to walk around the whole thing at a nice steady pace, you're probably looking at around about 20 minutes if you go slow. But again, when I come, when I just stay local like this, because I only live just down the road, when I stay local, I'm still out the house for a good hour or so. You know, and I'll walk around a couple of times with them. Over in the corner there, I'm not going to go there today, but over in the corner there, you can go through these woods. And there's a nice trail through these woods. But uh, I'm not going today because it's going to be like a bog. And then you can follow it right through. And look, there's like a massive open wooded area with some farmland. And you can actually come out up Burntwood. I can't remember the name of the road, um, but you come out by some farm um, up there. And again, I will do that route when we have a little bit better weather and uh, it's not so muddy underfoot. So as you come round here, as you can see, there's a car park, which we will we'll make our way up to there in a sec. And the football pitch. And you know what? It's always more pleasant in the summer months. Of course, we're now up by the car park. That's the entrance and the exit up there. What I'm actually going to do is I will, I'm going to head down to there and then I'm going to come up this trail here because there's a nice little trail there. 
that heads all the way up back to the car park here. So we'll head down here and go through there. This is where you can follow the trails through the woods and that will take you right up down into Burntwood. But we're gonna go up here and as I suspected, it is very muddy. This is where we come up the car parks on the left now and we'll just follow this straight up to the entrance. This is new. Heath Hayes Academy Community Library. That's nice, isn't it? So you've got a, so you've got a load of books in there. You, you can just come. It's not locked. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not locked. You can just help yourself. That's good, that is. So this car park closes those times if you want to come and park here respect your park as I was saying earlier clean it up and there's no golf allowed on here so that's brought us out further up the Wimbleberry Road if you head up towards there, you go past the school, the Heath Hayes Academy. If you go right to the top, to the roundabout and swing a left, that takes you down to the old brickworks, which is one of the other videos that I've already done. You can go check it out. Um, yeah, the old brickworks nature reserve. And I've done a little tour of that as well. So that concludes that video, guys. That's Heath Hayes Park just off the Wimbleberry Road, off the five, five Ways Island. If you did like that video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next one.